Welcome back. If you're a pet owner, then you know the anxiety that comes if your pet ever goes missing. Well, one pet owner has had that feeling for three years. Six News reporter Matt Lively shares this story's happy ending. Eileen and Chuck Russell's dog Rocky wandered off from home on April 8th, 2018. They wandered around the property before, so we weren't too terribly concerned. Um, until it got dark and he didn't come back, but my other dog did. Um, we put uh, posters all over the neighborhood, rode around on my ATVs, rode around in the car. The search efforts were all to no avail. The Russells kept looking, but Rocky wasn't showing up. They had to accept a hard reality. So my assumption at that point was because we live in the country and there's a lot of coyotes, coyotes had probably gotten him. Now fast forward to just a few weeks ago. Someone found a 15 year old dog lying on the side of the road. He was taken to the Humane Society of Central Texas, but it was clear that the animal was sick. Vets didn't think he had many days left. Basically, they just thought, you know, this poor dog, he's going to die. And so they said, you know, maybe we can just get him into a foster home just so that the end of his life won't be spent in a shelter. They gave the dog to Old Souls Animal Rescue, and this is when the story takes a twist. He made a recovery one good enough to share on social media. We put that post up and just a little while later, this woman named Eileen sends us a message and said, I think that's my dog. And I, my dog's been missing for three years. On the page is this little dog that they've called Batiste. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, he sure looks like Rocky. And she sent us some pictures of him from years ago and it was 100% her dog. Not everyone was so sure. I said, is this Rocky? And my immediate response was absolutely not. Rocky's dead. He, he, how, how can a dog survive for three years? The next day they went to the Humane Society. Once they saw him, some doubt crept in. First thought was, that's not my dog. <laughs> because. He has shrunk so much. He's so much smaller. But then Eileen felt a knot behind his ear, one she knew Rocky had. I was like, this oh is him. Because, I mean, I was having doubts. When I sat down on that floor, I was like, I don't know if this is my dog. And, uh, but when I sat down, I felt that I said, yes, it is. Now the 15 year old is back at home, sitting in the same spots he used to love and fitting right back in. We're just so excited. I, I'm still, when I see him and I walk around and I see him laying on the floor, I think, I'm just amazed to see him in my house right now. The Russells are overwhelmed that Rocky is home, but they do wish they had a dog that could speak just so he could tell the story. In Waco, Matt Lively, 6 News. Right, where has he been? Okay, the Russells say if you take anything from this, it is that you need to make sure your dog's microchip is registered. Rocky's wasn't, and they say this whole scenario may have been avoided if it had been. So microchip your dog, and make sure it's registered as well. But man, where has that guy been? I don't know. I'm glad he got back home though, Andy.